Okay, your mom's. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Blissity here, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a uh, best class set of video for the uh, Hades. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about a few other things in this video. Um, as most of you guys know, there's like a massive uh, update that was released today. Not really massive. But it was pretty big in terms of uh, multiplayer. There was a lot of uh, weapon tuning that went down. You know, a lot of things got nerfed and a lot of guns got buffed. So uh, it's going to change the gameplay drastically, at least in multiplayer. So I'll be covering that as well. But, uh, you know, I'm going to just start off with this class setup, guys. So I'm using the Hades right here. I don't have that operator mod, the one that, like, allows you to, like, hip fire only. Um, you know, the one that's really good. But, uh, yeah, I don't have that. So that's why I'm just using this uh, regular class setup. So, guys, I'm using Reflex, Quick Draw, Fast Mags, and uh, FMJ. And then for the perks, I'm using uh, Scavenger, Dexterity, and Ghost, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm using Ghost, but, uh, you know, I might be, I might not be, uh, I can't remember. But, uh, you know, and I'm going to talk about Firebreak quickly because I feel like it's really good. Um, you know, it's pretty underrated. Rated. Rated. Yo, I said underrated. Yo, I'm tripping right now. Uh, but anyways, guys, the main reason I was using it was because I bought uh, the Galaxy suit for Firebreak. I think it was like six bucks. Um, you know, it looks pretty good. I don't have it on in this gameplay because, um, you know, after you prestige, uh, the game, like, unequips all of, uh, you know, your previous uh, suits. So, like you'd have to do it all over again so that's why i don't have it on right now but uh it looks pretty good it's like a red like animation uh kind of yeah just similar to like the zeros and uh i forget the other ones the grapple hook character so yeah that's why i'm using that but uh the, the reactive core um it's pretty good guys especially on this map because you could use it from like a you know a lower level and uh you know it hit it hits the upper level as well as well as the lower and uh, the radius is pretty far on it, so I feel like it's pretty good. And uh, the flamethrower is really good as well. I was actually getting some nice clips with it. Um, you know, I, honestly, it might be better than the Tempest, man. It's actually pretty good. So, yeah, that's a little bit about this gameplay, guys. Um, I'm going to get to the patch notes now. Um, I think I have them up, or maybe I don't. But uh, anyways, guys, the patch, uh, you know, is released today. I'm downloading it right now. I think it's downloaded by now, but, uh, you know, it was 11 gigabytes. It took me like six hours to download it, you know, 10 download gang. You guys know what it's like. Actually, probably don't. You probably all have better internet than me. Uh, here, let me just pull up these uh, patch notes right here. Charlie Intel. Go to the patch notes. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm going to basically cover uh you know basically the multiplayer aspect uh, and the weapon tuning we're going to be focusing on the weapon tuning so uh basically guys the assault for the assault rifles the rampart 17 got uh buffed i was going to say nerfed <laughs> i'm literally tripping right now guys so it got buffed uh increased max damage range and then kn57 got buffed increased max damage range and the vapor actually got buffed as well so the vapor i remember the vapor was actually pretty good at the beginning of the game and uh, then they nerfed it and it just kind of became trash but uh increased five hit kill range from 34.7 yards to 50 yards that seems like a pretty significant difference like that's a big upgrade uh improved ads idle to sway less um and then for the Maddox, this is the big one, guys. Uh, for all you Maddox players out there, man, I'm sorry. I, I know what it's like. I was a Maddox player myself. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go over the nerfs uh, that went down. So reduced uh, recoil stability in the first five shots. So in the first five shots, man, like the recoil is just crazy now. I haven't played it, but I saw a few clips of it on Twitter. So the Echo Fire Operator mob improved recoil stability. So that's actually a buff. But, uh, you know, I don't I don't use the fucking operator mods. Um, so uh, quick draw got reduced ADS in speed and quick draw two got reduced ADS in speed as well. So if you guys didn't know, like uh, quick draw, like just a regular quick draw on the Maddox before this update, it was really slow. So I can't imagine how slow the ADS speed is now. And I don't have a lot of time, so I got to like 
talk fast. Actually, I think I have like three minutes, but still. And uh, stock got reduced ADS move speed. Honestly, I don't remember thematics. Like, I don't think it had that great of a strafe anyway. Um, so I don't know, man. Maybe it's just kind of like similar to the ICR now. Um, you know, obviously it's not as slow, but it'll probably be like that. Um, so, and then ELO got reduced recoil stability. So I don't, I'm not sure if that means that uh, Red Dot's better on the Maddox now or what, but uh, I, I guess I'll have to test it out myself. And for console only, reduced max damage range from 23.60 to 20.8 yards. That doesn't seem like much of a difference. But then again, this gun always shined, um, you know, at like medium range. It's pretty good at close range as well, but uh, I don't know if that's that big of a difference, honestly. So for the submachine guns, the MX-9 got a buff. GKS got a buff. Um, you know, I'm just going to like go over these quickly. I'll just tell you like basically... Uh, what went down with the weapon, if it, whether or not it got nerfed or buffed. So uh, Spitfire actually got nerfed. I'm glad the Spitfire got nerfed. So it was like amazing at close range. It was by far the best uh, in the game. Uh, best close range gun in the game. Absolutely shredded. Uh, so yeah, that got a pretty big buff. Uh, nerf, sorry. Reduced max damage range. And stock got reduced ADS move speed. Extended mags got reduced magazine size. So I'm pretty sure extended mags on this gun, uh, like it gave you like a 50 bullet clip, which is absolutely crazy. So uh, I'm kind of glad that got nerfed. And uh, fast mags got a reduced reload speed enhancement. So that's good as well. Uh, the cordites, let's see. Reduced overheat cooldown speed and grip reduced re Stability. Okay, so that got a buff. Okay, and then um, I think I'm just going to talk about the saw guys, and that's it. I literally have like no time left. So this gameplay is kind of short. Uh, actually, it's like seven minutes, but still. Uh, reduced sprint out speed is uh, okay. Yeah, so that's a, that's a nerf. Uh, it's the same as other SMGs now, and reduced base move speed. So it's the same as other SMGs. And then stock got reduced ADS speed, and stock two got reduced ADS move speed as well. So uh, I, I'm not sure what it's going to be like uh, with stock and st stock two now. Uh, you know, I can't imagine how much slower it'll be. Like, like I said, I haven't tried out the game, but uh, I feel like the stock's supposed to still be in the meta, at least for competitive. It's supposed to be pretty good still. Like, I don't think the GKS or the MX-9 will compete with the stock, despite the nerfs um, that the MX-9, sorry, that the SOG re received. Um, and then uh, for console only, <laughs> dual wield got nerfed. Um, and hip fire accuracy and max damage range. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, those are the main guns I wanted to focus on. I don't really have time for anything else, but uh, yeah, guys, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'm out, guys. Peace.